Hey guys, EC Network here, coming at you with another video. So I haven't made a video on Symbionic Titan in around three years. It's been a while, and so I thought it's about time to talk about that show again. And I've seen people asking, and some people just o over the internet not knowing why Symbionic Titan was cancelled. So I'm gonna go into that, dive into that now. So Symbionic Titan was a Cartoon Network show that was on in the early 2010s, and it was actually successful. It was getting good ratings, it was doing well at the network. Supposedly, Gendy Tartakovsky said that the next 20 episodes that he had written up were better than the first 20. So the show seemed to have a promising future until all of a sudden it was cancelled at Cartoon Network. So from what we know, from what we've heard, supposedly the reason why it was cancelled from Cartoon Network is because Cartoon Network could not get any company to make a toy line for Symbionic Titan. They went around, they looked, they tried to get a company to pick up the license, and no one would. So then Cartoon Network decided, we can't get a toy license, let's cancel the show, which obviously is something incredibly foolish, that actually angered Gendy Tartakovsky so much that he left Cartoon Network after this. He has said before the reason he left Cartoon Network is because things were changing at the network that he didn't like. He left Craig McCracken like other creators on Cartoon Network from the years left because of the changes that were happening at the network. They were taking a priority over getting as much cash as they could from a show as opposed to just producing quality content that people enjoy. So that is the story behind Symbionic Titan and why it was cancelled. And honestly, it's obviously something that should have never happened. I mean, the show was getting fantastic ratings. People were loving it. Me, personally, I never watched it when it was actually live on TV, but I have watched it since. I love the show as well. And even Gendy said he, he had a lot of ideas for the show, and he was saying the next 20 episodes were going to be better than the first. And Cartoon Network obviously would know this because they obviously can see the content that he's working on, and yet they still decided to cancel it. This just shows that at that time, the leadership at Cartoon Network did not have they, their priorities straight. But what is the reason that they were prioritizing a toy line over actual quality content? And honestly, I think the reason was Ben 10. The reason I'm saying the reason was Ben 10 is because if you look at Ben 10, it was astronomical for Cartoon Network. I believe before the reboot that Ben 10 brought in $4 billion from the toy line alone. So after Cartoon Network saw the success of Ben 10, they tried to replicate that with all their other action shows. And then when Cartoon Network saw we can't get a toy line for Symbionic Titan, they just decided to pull the plug on it. Which obviously angered Gendy enough that he left the network. And he has said before in the past that he is willing to work on Titan again. He hasn't said it in a while. I believe the last time he's mentioned Titan publicly, at least to my knowledge, is three years ago when Samurai Jack Season 5 was premiering. He had a stream on Adult Swim site where someone asked him about Titan, and he just spoke about it briefly and said he'd be willing to work on it if the opportunity presented itself at some point in the future. I tried to ask him about it at Adult Swim Con a few weeks ago, did not answer the question, so at this given point in time we don't know if Titan is being worked on or if he is even still willing to work on it. I'd assume he would be, but who knows honestly. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below if you guys knew about this already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.